Hey Ronzef here and welcome to Masters of Light Overview. First I thought it was some kind of a visual experience with interactional objects around, but then watching the trailer now, some kind of fighting title with punching and just cosmic enemies trying to hurt you. <laughs> like this uh, definitely unique concept going on. So Masters of Light is a fighting hand tracking game where the galaxy needs you to face the upcoming danger from the black hole, harnessing the mighty power of light, fight, work out and dance to achieve your victory. It kind of uses a lot of things at once and I don't know if those are just some keywords to have an idea. I don't think I necessarily remember anything like that on the store. Maybe Star Shaman would be the closest example. You were kind of forming some shapes in air, but it was all with controllers and this one seems to be primarily developed for hand tracking technology, which would pursue that. I'm kind of worrying about the visuals because they are not clear, like the models and all are kind of blending themselves together, so we'll have to see in the headset if it's not gonna be some kind of aesthetic mess with not much detail going on. Tech-wise, hand tracking was always hit and miss, although with so many software updates to the Quest platform, at this point the developers can easily craft some cool games that use the full potential of your hands and not just for basic UI interactions. Mechanics wise it seems interesting with gesture spells, very much the wizard's vibes, although here you can just upgrade and combine spells for some cool gameplay combos. At least this project is light themed because Quest 3 doesn't necessarily handle well dark lit environments and the pants are pretty much writing themselves. Let's go harness the light! This 360 is like painted on. Oh, visual storyline, okay. The resolution is low in the distance, even the close one. Wanderer, my name is Maya, and this is my galaxy, my home. Unfortunately, we have fallen, defeated by our enemies, the shadows. Our powers are weakened. We are a mere memory of our past greatness. What happened? The black hole happened. It suddenly appeared one day. We don't know why. We don't know how. I barely escaped. But I lost my sisters, my constellation. The shadows used this opportunity to capture every one of us left. I heard about you, Wanderer. I was told you were brave and fierce. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. The one that will liberate the galaxy. But first, let's see what you can do. To fight the shadows, you can use your inner light. Try this. Now, your turn. It feels good, doesn't it? Try a few more times. Okay, so there's a hitbox of proximity. Pretty 
pretty large one. Very good. Your projectiles are guided by your gaze, so make sure to keep your target at the center of your vision when you attack them. Let's see what you can do if your target moves. But there's no eye tracking, so. Look at your target and plan its trajectory. Is it like some predictionary based? Oh, it's completely impressive. Keep going with the headset. I mean, it's gonna be kind of awkward. But normally, when you look, that's when you attack. So it's fine, I suppose. Great job, Wanderer. Now, learn to combine your two abilities to target an enemy with greater precision. Look. Your turn. So I don't need to look at it? Some weird mechanics. Focus your inner light towards an enemy and strike with the opposite hand. The projectile will automatically find its mark. Great. Your basic training is complete, but you can always train more if you need. For this, use the console in front of you. Select the skill you want to practice, and I'll assist you. Now it's time to embark on your journey. Look at the galaxy map to your left to select your next destination, and fight to liberate one of our sisters. Five constellations. And this is my HP. Ah, because I like moving, so sniping is a better option. It's a very interesting for sixty because it's stylized, so. You can't say it's low quality. So far the hand tracking has been great. Doesn't disturb my gameplay. Wanderer, you rescued me. Thank you. Did Maya send you to liberate the entire galaxy? A long and challenging journey awaits you. Now look at the dots on the back of your hands. This shows how much inner light you have left. Keep an eye on it during the fights. <laughs> I'm kind of wounded for some reason. You can now travel directly to the next captured star, or back to your home base, the comet in the sky. To travel, select the destination with your inner light, and close your fist to teleport there. You can also use the map in front of you. Good luck! Beware of this deadly new enemy who will attack you from a great distance. Use your light to target them and hit them before they hit you. 
That was a cute transition. It's like a boxing game. You get tired to paint this. Wanderer, thank you for rescuing me. In exchange, let me give you this. This shield will block all incoming attacks if you protect your head with it. Placing it too low or facing the wrong direction will compromise its defensive capabilities. Good luck. It's kind of small. This new enemy seems heavily armored. Patience is key. Use your shield to block its attack and strike right after while its armor is open. So I have to. Could be tricky in chaotic situations. Like, they could catch you off guard. I don't necessarily like the idea that I have to wait for something to happen, but... At least there's some variety. for liberating me. Now that this fight is over, look around you. There are legends of ancient ruins scattered throughout the galaxy. There's one here. Let's go explore it. Use your inner light to target it and close your fist to teleport. <laughs> Ancient ruins are all that remains from a long-forgotten time of peace and prosperity. 
It's believed that the sacred crystals within can be reactivated through the power of light. Yeah, but this comet looks low quality from the close distance. Like, very. <laughs> Uncharted desires, yearning to explore and soar. Young Mira wanted more. I remember this ancient legend from my childhood, but no one knew the ending. Find all the scattered ruins across the galaxy and perhaps you'll bring it back to light. Okay. Is that the end of the constellation? Because I can't transport to anything from here. Oh no. Although with each level there is some variety, I would assume it's gonna fall off after a while. And then the gameplay just becomes redundant. Thank you, Wanderer, for rescuing me. In exchange, let me teach you a new skill. It's called Shockwave, and will push away all of your enemies. First, make a triangle with your thumbs and indexes. A symbol will appear. When it's complete, open your arms to unleash your Shockwave. It doesn't need to be a triangle, necessarily. last time so it's in case the situation will be too much to handle nice this power gives you time to breathe and strategize in the middle of a fight use it as much as you need okay cute I'll end here because there's not gonna be much else in terms of the variety like of course you'll get new skills new enemies but like the whole thing will stay pretty much the same. I would say that hand tracking wise this has been like flawless pretty much and it didn't necessarily happen before so this just proves my point that hand tracking games that's the time to make them and the tech is ready to enjoy even in intense scenarios so there's just no excuse. With the game, it's a fairly straightforward concept. It can get a bit workouty, so maybe not necessarily to play everything in one go. Essentially, a wave shooter with projectile-based gameplay and skills to modify the battlefield. But other than that, it's not something that hasn't been done before, nor anything groundbreaking. Visuals in the main scenario are pretty good with the effects 
However, when you are in the main menu and then on that comment we've been, it can get pretty low quality alongside the resolution. In total, I think it's pretty neat for what it is. What I take away from this experience is that we should be getting more hand tracking games. Cause it can be done. <laughs>